Let's find this integral of this function from 0 to 16. And it looks like what we have here is a semicircle, a triangle, and another semicircle. Now, the point of this problem is to realize this. If we integrate this function from x equals 0 to x equals 4, that integral is going to be the area of this semicircle. However, if we integrate this function from x equals 4 to x equals 10, that integral will give us the area of this triangle, but it'll be negative. Well, the integral from 0 to 4 is going to come out positive. The integral from 4 to 10 will come out negative because the function is below the x-axis. Then this integral of this semicircle from 10 to 16 will also come out positive. So what are we going to do? Well, we're just going to find the areas of these two semicircles and subtract the area of the triangle, and that's going to give us our total integral from 0 to 16. I'll use a little bit of notation just so you can see it. The integral from 0 to 4 is going to be half the area of this circle here. Keep in mind that the area of a circle is pi r squared, so the area of a semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2. The radius of this circle here appears to be 2, so the area of this semicircle is going to be pi times 2 squared divided by 2. Do just a little bit of simplification here, and we get the area of this semicircle circle is 2 pi. Now for the integral from 4 to 10 of this function, we're finding the area of a triangle. We remember that the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Our base in this case is 6 and our height is 4. That all multiplies out to 12, but we have to remember that this integral, since the function is below the x-axis, is going to be negative. Last, we have a slightly bigger semicircle. It has a radius of 3, so the area of that semicircle is going to be 9 pi over 2. Finally, if we want the integral from 0 to 16 of this function, we just add together the areas of the semicircles and subtract off the area of that triangle. Now let's see, 2 pi plus 9 halves pi. That's 4 halves pi plus 9 halves pi. That's 13 halves pi minus 12. And that answer is pretty nice. If you want an approximate answer, plug it into your calculator. It's going to turn out to be about 7.42. And I think we're finished with this problem.